Once upon a time at Twitter headquarters. Oh no, I am not making any money. What can we do? Just make people pay $8 a month for a blue check mark. Genius. And so it began. Everyone and their mother could now buy the blue check mark. And they started having a little bit of fun. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I did that shit. I miss killing Iraqis. Same to be honest. There is nothing better than waking up and enjoying a cup of my own urine. Uh, such a tangy way to start the day. Coke is better. Yeah, you can fuck the Pokemon in the new one. Who wants Mr. Bean to eat their pussy tonight? Your own pee. Our cars do not respect school's own limits. Fuck them kids. We're adding sex to Roblox. Just because we killed the planet doesn't mean we can't miss it. Hello, peasants. I was rolling around in my grave and I have decided to resurrect. Great things to come. If this gets 1,000 retweets, we'll put cocaine back in Coca-Cola. We steal your water and sell it back to you, Lolo. This might be the wine talking, but I got a crush on Elon Musk. Some people tried to fight back. For your information, there is a fake account impersonating me going viral. But for your information, there is a fake account me going viral. Accounts claiming to be the real one had to fight clones in the comments section. that impersonation, we've added official. No, we fucking didn't. I reported both of you. There was one guy. Verified as Jesus Christ. Who has two thumbs and verified. Yet, among all this trolling, there was one tweet that was different. We are excited to announce, insulin is free now. The Eli Lilly and Company was a medical company selling insulin. They were well known for selling it for extremely overinflated prices. According to CNN, people were often forced to buy insulin at up to $300 a piece. Compare that to the average price of insulin, which was around $90, and the cost of making it, which is around $10. And we're talking about a product here that millions of people need every day just to stay alive. For them, this is like a $300 monthly subscription on water. So when this one user created a fake account and posted this tweet, things started happening Wall fast. Wall Street is watching pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly today. Its stock plummeted last week after someone impersonated the company on Twitter, said it would make insulin free. An imposter account on Twitter. Tonight, Lauren Kostick looks at the dangers of this kind of misinformation. They quickly tried clarifying it, but it was already too late. Their stocks fell off a cliff losing the company billions, which was pretty hilarious in itself, but it wasn't over for Eli Lilly. At some point, people started asking questions. Why isn't life-sustaining insulin free? Or at the very least, much, much cheaper than it is now? It's not like that was impossible, right? Germany could do it, Canada could do it, heck, even Australia could do it. And suddenly, it wasn't just Eli Lilly who were losing money. Everyone in the business was. It's hard to say how much the industry lost collectively, but Eli Lilly alone is estimated to have lost around $15 billion. Additionally, more and more news sites and talk shows were picking up the story. Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly. Oh no, whatever will this huge pharma company do? Turns out not a whole lot. They tried whining, they tried begging, but public opinion was against them. And finally, the outcry reached the government. Eventually, after months of work, the pressure became too much, and a new law forced Eli Lilly to cap insulin prices at $35 a month. Well, if you are one of the millions of Americans who relies on insulin, we have important health news to share with you. Yeah, you may be about to pay a lot less for it. Drug maker Eli Lilly says it will cap the cost of insulin at $35 a month. Not quite as good as in many other developed countries, and still with a hefty profit margin, but hey, it was still a massive improvement that likely saved and will save millions of people from bankruptcy and even death. And this is why it's the greatest shitpost in history.